everyone, my name is Smith, and today I'm going to be doing a video on 196. I'm going to be explaining why it's special and stuff like that. So yeah, let's get on with the video. First of all, what are palindromes? Palindromes are numbers whose digits are the same when reversed. For example, if we take a number like 196, when we reverse them, we get 691. 196 is not 691, so it isn't considered a palindrome. But there are numbers which are the same when reversed. For example, 11, 22, 949, 9, and etc. These numbers are called palindromes. Technically, all one-digit numbers are palindromes because there's only one digit in them so you can't technically reverse them um, but still here is the procedure I want to show you if you take any number for example 79 reverse it so you get 97 and add them together you get 176 depending on the number you chose you'll get a different result now you go back to step 2 and do exactly the same thing over and over again eh? For example, for 776, you add 671 to get 847. You can add 748 to that to get 1595. And you get the idea. You do so on and so on and so on until you get a palindrome. In this case, you will end up with 44,044. Now, for any number, this will end up after a few tries some numbers can be like 24 other numbers that only happens in like a couple you but no matter what you chose you will always get a palindrome except for 196 yeah with 196 no matter how much you try after a thousand a trillion you will end up getting a non-palindrome number which is why i call it an anti-palindrome number but actually there are a lot of anti-palindrome numbers with 196 being the smallest of them but you also have 295 394 and so on you also notice that for every single number number that you get when you reverse it will also be there huh? that's also a tiny bit important because that's because when you reverse it you end up with the same result actually there are infinitely many huh? the ones i just showed you previously were just a few of them huh? So that's it for this video. It wasn't meant to be an extremely long video. Not like my Pythagoras video or stuff like that. But still, I hope you liked this video. And subscribe to my channel so I can give you more awesome content like this. So, bye.